Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and this is UDM Pro Complete Setup Part 13, where we're going to be talking about how to update the UDM Pro. Updating the UDM Pro is something that you're going to want to do on a fairly regular basis to make sure that you have all of the latest, especially security patches, as well as the latest firmware for your unified devices. Before we get into updating the UDM Pro, however, if you are enjoying this video tutorial series, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for two to three tech videos just like this one every single week. Also, if you're just interested in buying me a beer, there is a link down below to do that as well. Here I am at the dashboard of the UDM Pro, and we can see from my settings here, my Unify OS system is at 1.10.0. Unified Network is at 6.2.26, and Unified Protect is at 1.19.0. I have not yet set up access or talk on this UDM Pro. The reason why this is important, especially today, in you know, mid-December 2021, is because of some new vulnerabilities that have come out, specifically the Log4j vulnerability, which is a pretty dangerous one. And so you wanna make sure that you get your UDM Pro or any Unify hosted controller, cloud key, any sort of Unify device, you wanna get them updated to the latest and greatest. Last week I updated my Unify controller, my hosted Unify controller that I have hosted in DigitalOcean, and that update went just fine. Uh, I was able to update the controller as well as the firmware for all of the devices connected to that controller without issue. So hopefully this one will go without issue as well, but hey, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So in order to update the UDM Pro, first we're gonna come down here to system settings, and then we're gonna click on updates in the upper left-hand corner. Now at a glance, what I can see here is we have a, an update from 1.1.0 for the Unify OS. This is the base backend Unify OS which the Unify applications run on top of, we can see that the Unify OS version is 1.10.0 and we can update to 1.10.4. Also, we have updates available down here for both network and protect, but we're gonna ignore those updates for now. Let's go ahead and update the backend Unify OS first and then we will take it from there. Before you update anything, however, let's go ahead and take a backup of our UDM Pro. So I'm gonna click on Advanced, and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I find Backup Configuration, and we're gonna go ahead and say Backup. Okay, upper right, it says UDM Pro was successfully backed up. Let's go ahead and say Download the Backup File. And there we go, we now have a backup downloaded that we're gonna want to store in a safe location just in case anything goes wrong with this update. Now we can click on updates again in the upper left and I'm gonna click on update to 1.10.4. Update Unified Dream Machine Pro from 1.10.0 to 1.10.4. Your console will automatically restart as part of this process. I'm gonna say confirm and it says device is updating. Now, since it said the console is going to reboot, one way that we can kind of keep an eye on it is to run a persistent ping. So I'm gonna open up a command prompt and I'm gonna say ping dash T to make this persistent, 192.168.1.1, which is the IP address of my UDM Pro. And at some point, I should see the replies stop and then start up again after a minute or two. That means that the UDM Pro rebooted. So I'm just gonna let this run and we will come back to this video as soon as this update has completed. Update has completed successfully and as you can see here, the screen actually changed a little bit. We have a new item, UID. Now this is a beta application that runs on top of Unify OS. If you're not sure what Unify UID is, you see there's a little thumbprint in the D. It gives you a little bit of a clue. UID is identity as a service. So customize site and user access with a secure cloud-based IDAAS solution. That's identity as a service. I think they made that catchphrase up. But essentially this is a service from Unify that sort of manages access control to, you know, across the suite of Unify apps. I have not played with UID myself very much, so I really don't know all that much about it yet. I will certainly be learning about it as we move forward in the future, but since this is a beta product, 
Uh, we're not going to talk about it too much as part of this series, at least not until it uh, comes out of beta. So if you want to read more about UID, it's ui.com slash UID. For now, let's go back into our UDM Pro uh, Unify OS, and we can see that we are up to date on version 1.10.4, and that we have updates for Network Protect, Access, and Talk. Access and Talk, remember, are not actually installed, but we do have updates available for those applications. What I'm going to do here is just update these one at a time. So we'll start with Unify Network. I'm going to click Update. And now it is updating. So we will come back when this has completed and check out the version at number. Unified Network Update is complete and we are now on version 6.5.55. That is the exact version that I would like to be on as it is the most recent that accounts for two separate Log4j vulnerabilities. Next, we're going to go ahead and update Protect. So I'm just going to click Update and I will come back when that has completed. Protect is done now. That took less than two minutes and we are on version 1.20.1. .1. Next, I have Access and Talk. Even though I don't have these applications installed in Unify OS, I'm going to go ahead and update them anyways so that when I do eventually install them, they'll be on the latest version. All right, so I'm going to update Access and Talk and then we will be back to check out some of the other update settings. Access and Talk have now been updated. As you can see, they no longer say Update. They now say Set Up Access or Set Up Talk since I don't actually have those installed. Now let's look at some of these other update options. So up here we have Release Channel. If you are running your UDM Pro in production, I always recommend just sticking with the official release channel. This is sort of the stable release channel, but you also have the option of going to the release candidate channel, which is basically like updates that are sort of impending. You know, they've, they've been released as a release candidate and they're currently being tested to see if they will make it into the official channel or they have the beta release channel, which is essentially like the bleeding edge software, the latest and greatest, which of course might cause problems since it has not been properly QA'd or tested. Down below, we have a couple of other options. We have auto update. Now, I personally do not like to have my UDM Pro set to auto update only because if it auto updates and then breaks something, if something's not working, I won't know that it auto updated and so it might prevent me from troubleshooting the UDM Pro properly if I didn't realize that whatever broke was a result of an update rather than just something that went haywire within the OS or the network or protect application. So I like to be able to control those updates, run them manually, and then of course go check afterwards to see if the applications are still working properly. So update UDM Pro is the backend OS updates and then the applications, you can also set those to auto update if you like to live dangerously. Let's go check and make sure that our applications are working. So I'm gonna click on the four boxes in the upper left hand corner. Let's go check network first. So logging into network, at a glance, everything does seem fine. Let's check unified devices. Uh, the U6 Lite is not online. I've got it, you know, packed up in a box somewhere. But we can see here that we do have an update available for our U, uh, USW Pro 24 PoE. This is a firmware update that came along with the latest version. So let's go ahead and update that device. And we'll click Confirm. USW Pro 24 PoE firmware update is complete. Let's go and check out Unify Protect, make sure everything looks good there. And besides the fact that all of my cameras are currently offline because I don't have them actually hooked up, yes, everything looks perfectly fine. Okay, so there you have it. That is how you successfully update the UDM Pro. I highly, highly recommend making sure that you get up to Unify version 6.5.55 to help prevent those log4j vulnerabilities. All right, we will see you guys in the next video.